Hey, what's up guys? If you make electronic music in Ableton Live and want a professional sound, watch this video. Today you will see how to use Isotope Ozone 10 and 7 modules that will bring you mix to life with a lot more punch and a lot more depth, resulting in a louder mix without turning up the volume or using compressors. Let's see what happens when I bypass Ozone 10. Now you see why you want to use it in your mix. It just sounds so much better. And check this out. Both my input and output levels haven't changed a bit, peaking at minus 6 dB and yet. I have thickness, I have warmth and I have depth. You can see my mix is perfectly balanced. So what are the seven audio modules and in what order should you use them? If you have any tips on how to get louder mixes or questions about making electronic music with Ozone 10, subscribe now and let us know in comments. Now let's have a look at these seven modules. Number one, a simple EQ with a high pass filter at 40 Hz and a low pass filter at 18 kHz to cut in notable frequencies. Number two, a mid side EQ to mono the low end. Here I have a low pass filter at 200 Hz with a 12 dB slope, very effective when using reverbs on bass sounds. If you don't use it, your low end will not be centered and may cause issues in the stereo field. Number three, Imager. This powerful module will add depth to your mix. Enable stereo eyes to change the character of the stereo effect and tweak the parameters to reach the width you like. Bonus tip here, use the vector scope to see if your left and right channels are lining up properly. Number four, vintage tape. Use this to add thickness and warmth to your mix. There is a lot of presets to choose from. You're sure to get a much fatter sound with this one. Number five, Exciter. This module has excellent presets with different modes to add harmonic distortion. You'll get an even thicker sound without major gain changes, but watch out not to overdo it, it would break your mix. Number six, Stabilizer. Use this amazing module in Ozone 10 Advanced only to dynamically shape your mix and add extra clarity. And number seven, Vintage EQ. It's my favorite equalizer. You can smooth out heavy low end, add body to your mix, and the mid side left right processing modes give a lot of control over the stereo field. Every single one of these modules makes subtle changes, but use them in the same order you saw in this video and you will get that fat sound for your next music production. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe now so you won't miss the next Ableton Live 11 tutorial. Thanks for watching and happy producing.